Hi my dolls, I'm Sheenam Inferno and welcome back to my channel. The nomadic feel of a gypsy is mystical and intriguing. Today we will enable ourselves to look through the magic of their fortune globe and explore what's beyond. There will also be two announcements at the end of the video, so make sure to watch till it lasts. And if you are still not a part of the Infernal family, hit that subscribe button and welcome to the cult. We start by preparing the face with my all-time favorite Guerlain Leor Radiance Primer. Today I will be using YSL All R Foundation. This product has a lot of claims and the claims are all true. It is advertised as being full coverage, flawless matte, transfer proof and with the endurance to last all day, every day, through all or whatever the situation. It is available in 22 shades, but honestly I can see no more than last 3 shades working out for women of color, which is a shame. But through and through the formulation is pretty awesome and it is a slay. I go ahead by highlighting my face with the shade Banana in Anastasia Cream Contour Kit to enhance all the features I want to show off. I use the shade Cinnamon as the shadow color in the contour. My aim here is to achieve some bronzing around my hairline as the look demands rather than chiseling and modifying my anatomy. I want to add that everyday variable cream contour is supposed to look seamless once it's blended to serve as a lovely shadowy region for powder bronzers or blushers on top to make it stand out very naturally. Very contrary to intense lines of light and dark that you will see floating around in social media which is only suitable in real life if you are going for a theme transformation or a beautiful drag queen look. I will set my highlights with Dior Loose Powder and leave the shadowed region untouched for the moment that will continue to set naturally. Inglot AMC Brow Gel is what I use to draw out my brows and fill them up in a gradient, brushing it out in place once I finish. I use the definer shade in white in the Wet n Wild Octa palette as a backdrop color creating an almost bold wing as I go. Remember, this look is aimed at being rustic, but rustic your way. 
So plan your colors and placements so you don't go too far. I will deepen the lower line slightly with the definer shade in left in the same palette. Here I'm going to introduce you to an indie brand that I came across on the social media. Baharat Pigment has an Ukrainian origin with an array of pigments available. It retails for a little over $5 for 2 grams of products which is the standard amount. There are a lot of pros and a few cons about this product that will be listed on the screen and more about the background, the shipping and the shopping link will be in the description box below. I use the shade Astrologer Dry to wash my lid with a nice purple that will avoid the stark transition to blue. I go ahead by patting and packing the lid initially with the shade Gin in a Lamp and then building it up further by using it wet mixed with Dura Line by Inglot. I'm repeating all the steps for the lower line as well. <laughs> Dracaris wet to create graphics very similar to Wayne's to give a more broken, disintegrated and a dark feel. Apply the purple again in the lower line to serve as a nice transition from blue to red. I mix the shade Firebird with Dura Line to turn it into liquid gold and draw tribal motifs. You can simply outline a triangle and fill it up, but I am creating it by sideward strokes as it gives it an intentional rustic feel. These are very small details but really impart the soul and relatability into the final look. I will tie it all up by applying black to my waterline. I'm avoiding lashes altogether as they seem to hide all the work in graphics. But you do you and add it if you want to. I wanted to draw the sun and moon representation and for that 
Look up for any ancient symbols online and choose whichever one suits you and is achievable as per your skills. I use a nude lip liner to map out the basic design and proceed by adding the colors of my choice using the same pigments again. You can go as simple or crazy you wish. Just be sure you can paint it on neatly. Now I'm finally right here with you. to go over the areas I previously shadowed, basically my cheekbones and my hairline. Apply a brick or brown lip color to give it life. But as always, we are more than most and nothing can stop us from laying down a gleam of golden hue right in the center by using King K by Kylie Cosmetics. The golden monotone binds the look into a concept. I can look through your eyes. I can change your faith. You can do better. Your power is your originality. 
And now the announcement of the day. Next video will for the first time be dedicated to easy, everyday, wearable makeup by popular demands. And second, I will be starting a new series of short, super specific and targeted videos called Inferno Basics that will be aimed to teach my queens the very basics. So if you have any suggestions, you can comment below, DM me on Instagram, Facebook or mail, the details of which are in the description box below as always.